Now, before I get into what I'm about to get into, I just want to make sure that each and every one of you guys hit that like or dislike button. Don't forget to put some Coach K full court pressure on that notification bell as well as that subscription button so you can be notified via email each and every time your boy E Thriller, aka Ham Rothstein, aka the Black Picasso, because I paint these pictures so vividly on the sport of boxing, uploads a video. And once again, welcome back now Javante Tank Davis is scheduled to go up against Mario Barrios who is also undefeated he's 26 and 0 Tank is 24 and 0 right and I am going to give Tank full credit all of the credit in the world if he were to move up from 135 to 140 to beat this guy right but what I'm not going to do is number one let them sell me on this fight being a pay-per-view fight. That's point number one because didn't Floyd just say he was giving his fans a discount for that exhibition fight with Logan Paul? So why wouldn't you do the same during a global pandemic when it comes to a Javante Tank Davis who is going up against a guy that most casual boxing fans don't even know who the fuck is? That's point number one. But point number two is I'm not going to let them sell me on this bullshit because would you take a look at this? It says Tank is a two-time division world champion looks to become a three division world champion in his second showtime pay-per-view headliner as he faces unbeaten super lightweight world champion mario barrios now i'm gonna show you guys why that is full of shit because if you go to the website right and if you're looking at the 140 pound division, now everybody who follows the sport of boxing and they mama know that Josh Taylor holds the WBC belt, he holds the WBO belt, he holds the IBF belt, and he also holds the WBA belt. But if you go down here, who do you see? A Mario Barrios, right? And he is the regular super. No, not the super, but he is the regular super lightweight champion at 140 pounds, right? So if we scroll down to 135, you will see that Teofimo holds the WBA strap. But if you go a little bit lower than that, who do you guys see? Javante Tank Davis, who is the regular champion at 135. And if we move down to the super featherweight, right? Y'all see that? At 130 pounds, who do we see as the WBA champion? Javante Tank Davis. So technically, Tank is only a one-time world champion in one weight class, which is 130 pounds. Because based off of his own promoter's logic, which I'm about to play right now, and y'all all know, I love me some Floyd Mayweather. Floyd is my probably 1A or 1B fighter of all time next to B-Hop, right? But what I'm not going to do is let Floyd and Mayweather Promotions capitalize off of you fight fans' ignorance because it's just stupidity. So let's hear what Floyd had to say when it comes to all of these belts and uh, DJ, roll that clip. With the sport of boxing, and I want to say this right now about the sport of boxing. I don't want everybody at home to hear me when I say this. A belt, I'm tired and I'm at home. And this goes for any company. I don't care if it's top rank, if it's Golden Boy, if it's Mayweather Promotions, if it's PBC, there's too many champions in the sport of boxing right now. Too many champions. Too, it's, not, it's not a such thing as a super champion. Not at all. And I'm not taking nothing away from no fighter. It's too, it's too many belts. And the reason why is too... Let me tell people what's going on in the sport of boxing, why there are so many different titles and so many different belts. People don't know... You have to pay, every for every belt that you win, there's a sanctioning fee. So now if a fighter wins an intern belt, he has to pay a sanctioning fee. If a fighter has just the regular belt, he has to pay a sanctioning fee. Then if a fighter is a super champion, then he has to pay a sanctioning fee. This is not good for the sport of boxing. When the sport of now when a fighter fights, every fighter can every fighter is a champion now? After you see no belts, is now it's like a, a fighter winning a winner winning an amateur trophy. Everybody is a champion. Everybody got have a belt. Now we look at the lightweight division, okay? And I want to say uh, uh, the fight the other day was was a hell of a fight. Congratulations uh, uh, to the winner. He's talking about Tio Fimo, y'all, and he's also talking about the 135 pound division. Um, he done his job. He went out there and. And did what he had to do. But if Devin Haney is the 
WBC champion at lightweight, right? And Javante Tank Davis is the WBA champion. Now, it's safe to say that Telefimo is the champion at, he's the champion, the, the IBF and a WBO champion. But I can't not, I can't not what he has done. Because I have to take my hat up to him, you know, for what he has done. Okay, so you heard it out of the horse's mouth right there, right? Floyd is basically saying, look, man, all of these belts are bad for the sport, which I totally agree. But based off of his logic, that would mean that Tank has only won one belt in one weight class if we're looking at this, if we're being fair and objective about it, right? Because look at this. Tank has only been a champion, the super champion, at 130 pounds, y'all. But if you scroll up to 135, he is the regular champion, and Teofimo is the super champion. And then if you scroll up to 140, which is the weight class he's moving up to, Mario Barrios is the regular champion, and, and Josh Taylor is the super champion because he just became undisputed. So we just got to call a spade a spade on this channel, man. We got to keep it a book. I love Tank. He's one of the most exciting fighters in the sport. I support him and Floyd Money Mayweather, but I will not support bullshit or endorse it. But this, those are just my thoughts, man. Please, man, make sure you like, comment, share, and sub to my channel. Until next time, I'm gone. Holla.